Hello and welcome to the Cow Moose channel. Today I'm back with a tutorial on an airport CEO. But what's different is I am now an Alpha 35. I believe it's still an experimental. I could be wrong, but I think it's still an experimental. Either way, I'm back. I want to do a few quick updates on some things. So the main thing about Alpha 35 was it was called the terminal update. So it included things such as automated desk, walkalators, and a few other things that frankly I'm just blanking on. Mainly, that was it. And it included decorations, airline lounges, restaurants, but I'll cover those things at some other point. Right now, I want to cover automated desk. So as, you, as you can see, we have a flight here that is just, passengers are just um, checking in. They're checking in, they're going through security. And if you have looked, I also have a few new features such as the um, walk later here. But this is supposed to resemble my version, at least I'm probably wrong here, of a small airport that nobody wanted small aircraft at. So people were checking in, they're going through security, then they're sitting down and once the flight lands and it's time for them to board, they're bored through this boarding desk. Now all this requires staff, and s you have to pay staff. And staff can be incredibly annoying when they have no idea how to pathfind somewhere. So let's change that. So, besides the fact that I'm getting spammed with notifications, um, okay, get yourself. Besides that fact, let's fix this. So, none of these have any flights scheduled right now. So we're just going to bulldoze them. And of course I do need to enable simulate construction because I'm not wasting time. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bulldoze these. I'm also going to go down here and right here I'm going to bulldoze that. You can see it did that. Now we're going to remember going to go into desks. And this is something that I was confused on myself, actually, for a little while. So there's self-check-in, and then there's baggage drop. And you'd think since they're small, you're like, oh, this is the lower version of this. But actually, you need both. So this is where I think many players will probably get confused. And I think that this maybe might have wanted to been, like, detailed a bit more. Because unless you read the description, and I don't know many people who do then you wouldn't notice. I've seen some people mess up. So we're going to get three, four of these in there. And of course they have, they have um, the people drop off baggage and then you connect this to the baggage bay. The usual thing, same as the check-in desk. Um, they do not have queues. People will just stand and wait for somebody to use it, somebody to be finished. So, as you can see there, it said, I think this is, a good way of doing it. I didn't get this notification, not, so I don't know about it until now, because I knew that you could do it this way. But it it does require you to have self check-in kiosk or however you say it. Never a word I liked. But anyway, back to the game and not me. So back in desk, you see the small one. So I'm just going to add five right here. Actually. I think it's a good idea to have quite a few because they do use these quite, f since the passengers use these quite a bit. Then we're just going to add a bit of decorative wall, wall right there, wall right here, some here and here, and then add wall here just because it should. And now you can open these. So these will open. Of course, they'll have to be baggage. Will have to be connected. So. Since I am simulating a small airport, I'm just using slow belts as much as I dislike them. So there, it's everything built. Now, my favorite thing, is paint everything. These do not have any menu at all, they also don't have queue. The way it works is basically passengers will find as many, as many as there are available, passengers will use them. So, that's the check-in desk completed. A and. I'm getting spammed by notifications, you could ignore them, they are inaccurate. 
then unfortunately there is not automated security okay this is just getting completely annoying okay um ui volume off just mute the whole thing anyway now that's gone there is no automated security unfortunately and there is automated um international we have automated passport checkpoints but unfortunately and i think this sort of makes sense but doesn't really because if you have automated passport checkpoints you should have automated security at least mostly automated like the scanners can be automated and then there can be a manual search or something either way we do not have manual security so that cannot be updated and we also but what we do have is we have check-in so I am not going to I'm going to wait for this check-in to finish so they should be boarding soon as you can see this is slow it's boring I mean it's not that boring and it takes staff which you have to pay and which you have to deal with the deal with part is more annoying for me since I often play in sandbox so this will as soon as this flight departs we can so we need to close the stand yes all flights will be cancelled going to unpause the game so it can update what do you mean uh, clear stand current stand it is closed and there isn't any flight schedule on it game well, we're just going to pretend that for some reason I decided to use this one over here. So, I'm going to disconnect that, we're going to bulldoze that, we don't need that anymore. So now, you're going to go into desk, you're going to go into um, small um, boarding desk. So, the way I generally do this is I generally use four. But in this case, I'm using five since it's the same width. You can't paint these, unfortunately. And you can paint these. But the way these will work is you do have to connect each one manually, which can be a bit of a pain. But the way these work is the passengers will walk up to them, scan it, and then it will let them through. So they look pretty cool, frankly. So, we're going to schedule. Medium aircraft stand 2, that's as close as I can get it. So, pretend that this issue never happened. It still works. Anyway, that is automated systems. So, open the flight planner. No flights offered. So you can see, passengers are arriving for their flight. And they're going in. Slow this down. So you can see, they're going over here to check in. And then this, w and then this one. As you can see, though, all f all four of them are accepting baggage. Th you can see they have nice animations, although there's some issues with them with the great closing. Then they put in the baggage. It goes along the usual just baggage bay. But the nice part about this is it requires no people, absolutely none. Then they go through security. Unfortunately, the non-automated security. And they come up here, they'll go around, and then we'll see them go through check in, go through boarding check in once that happens. In the meantime, I want to point out a bug I did notice a building this, this is a bit random. But you can copy cues now, that was a bug, is cues don't get copied. Well they appear to have caused a bug with within fixing a bug. So check in desk cues can be copied, they copy just Security cues will copy copy these four squares. That's all it will copy. It won't copy any of the other part for some reason. It will still charge you for it, but it won't put it in. I don't know why. I don't know if it's an issue on my part or if it's a bug. I think it's a bug. Either way, that doesn't work. So, our flight just arrived and they are deboarding. So, as you can you couldn't tell this from this example, but ca passengers cannot wa walk backwards through these since they are one way. 
So you do have to make sure you have an alternative exit, depending on how you like to build these kind of things. So, we are, all five, all five of these will work, and as you can see, boarding at 12.30. So, let's see. All we, we have about one hour, an hour and a half. So, I'm just going to show you a few cool features that mostly I'm just counting for time. So, mainly we have, and if you saw my Alpha, what came in Alpha 35 video, as you can see we have statues. Just decorate the place. If you really want, you can skip ahead. Now, we are boarding. Should be boarding. You can see people standing up. So can see they'll stand right there we'll give them green light and it'll open for them so people will use all five of them and they'll just queue up nicely and if you have enough then it actually then you won't have very bad t lines which uh, will increase your cute we time spent waiting unfortunately we do have a there is a bug I have not submitted a bug report for it but unfortunately from what I can tell, staff friendliness is either completely broken, or what happens is these automated systems have a staff friendliness of zero. So it means that your staff friendliness will be quite low if you have automated systems from what I can tell. So this is a bug, I think, unless just automated systems do cause staff low friendliness. I mean, I guess they could be programmed to be more polite. But for now, either way, you will have low staff friendliness unless they fix that. But that is all for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And goodbye.